And now, Working Man Radio with your host, Joe Lyles. Did I get to the television fact? I don't think I did. I think I spent the last segment explaining what a television fact is and why you need to start learning how to deliver them. Start organizing to deliver them. Don't sing songs. Don't carry a paper sign. If you're going to carry a paper sign, make sure there's an idea on the sign. Not what you don't want, but what you believe. Uh, your sign should to have a message of what you want the other guy to believe. Not what you want him to do, but what you want him to think. Your, every, your education effort, and this is what they did. The whole Lewis Powell's memo. The, we need to make people understand the free enterprise system. Understand the system. Understand the ideology. Understand the concepts. What's our concept? What's the what is the phrase we heard? I said we opened it and we talked. I didn't open with it, but we talked about it in the first segment. The makers versus the takers. Ayn Rand introduced the concept of the moocher. They're mooching off of you. It's the makers against the takers. I'm paying my taxes to go to all these undeserving takers. I work hard. I produce. But do they produce? And I have. Very simple thought experiment to illustrate what we're talking about. I want you to imagine. I want you to imagine... <coughs> Um, I want you to imagine one of the Walton the daughters, right? Sam Walton, who built, I built this with my own two hands. Well, no, he built it with th thousands of hands. But he did own, he did work to consolidate and build a huge chain of discount department stores which made him billions of dollars and then he croaked because you can't and there wasn't no u-haul riding behind his hearse on the way to the graveyard so he left all of his lucre to his daughters what did they do to build this empire well nothing but some would say well you know rich people work well i mean I, maybe but let me give you a thought experiment. Let me let me I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let me paint you a picture of a rich of a billionaire who does not work. I want you to imagine, and when I use the Walton sisters uh, as an example, because we know who they are. It could be anybody. Paris Hilton, who is an heir to the Hilton Hotel fortune. Doesn't make any difference who we're talking about. Let's imagine that one of these Skyon billionaires, Skyon, is it pronounced Skyon? Is that how you pronounce that word? That's another journalist word. You see it in print, S-C-I-O-N. You see it in print. I've never heard anybody pronounce the word. But an heir, an heir to a fortune, it could be anybody. One of the Walton sisters, Paris Hilton, gets in a bad car wreck, suffers a severe closed head injury, and the result is that she is in a coma. She's in a coma, still alive, heart's beating, no ventilator, she's breathing, breathing on her own. You know, doesn't need a ventilator, ain't hooked up to any machine, so there's no machine to unplug her. She ain't plugged into no machine, got a feeding tube because she can't eat. But there she is laying there, heart beating in her chest, clearly alive, alive on her own. Doesn't need a, doesn't need a machine to keep her breathing or keep her heart going. Trouble is, she's in a coma. Perhaps she's in a persistent, what they call in the law, the legal term is a persistent vegetative state. She's in a persistent vegetative state. Uh, she's a, She is in a coma. She is not speaking. She may not have a mind up there to form a word. She is basically a vegetable, more vegetable. She is a vegetable laying there. She is a very rich vegetable. She's a billionaire 
vegetable. Let's imagine this billionaire vegetable sitting there, and and she well, it's one of the Walton daughters, and she is laying in her hospital room, and every day across the country, millions. I don't know. I don't know how many people it is. Hundreds of thousands, millions of people get up every day, go to their jobs at Walmart, and they work, and they stock those shelves, and they move that stuff, and they drive that stuff across the country, and offload it onto those trucks, and put it on those shelves, and organize it, and put price stickers on it and stand at those cash registers and collect that money for all the stuff you come in and buy there's a lot of labor go on how much of that labor is our is our walton vegetative state billionaire how much work is she doing does she own the company she owns the company she owns it what does that mean and tell what is she doing when she owns the company she's a vegetable she owns the company and a vegetable ownership this is the point a vegetable can own the walmart a vegetable can own any corporation in america a vegetable can own anything a vegetable can't do anything but a vegetable can own anything there's your bumper sticker a vegetable can own things because owning something isn't doing anything owning something isn't an action owning something isn't doing any work it's not expending any energy Owning something is a state. It's a status. It's a legal fiction. And she owns something and she receives income. Money flows to her. She's a vegetable. She's not even awake. She's not even aware. She's not even conscious. But you work. You work producing and selling and moving stuff that belongs to her, which is just a concept. And the money flows to her, and you make eight bucks an hour. And you're the one who's doing, you know, who is the taker and who is the maker? Well, if you're a vegetable and you own the Walmart fortune, you're a taker because you ain't making nothing. You get it? Owning things isn't work doing things is work work is work the people who go to work are the people who produce and the people who reap the benefits by far the disproportionate benefits of the work that's getting done are people who could be vegetables what does paris hilton do all day what work is paris hilton doing by the way, there was some evidence a couple of four years ago during the first election that Paris Hilton might not be, she might not be stupid. She might be intelligent. And I'm not saying she's not. I'm not saying that uh, being a millionaire means you're an idiot. But you could be. You could be. There's nothing. That money does not give you talent. Money does not turn you, in, to turn you from a worthless lout into uh, in, you know into you know into a into a useful a vibrant virtuous human being in fact work is far more likely to do that for you there's your television fact there's your bumper sticker you can be a vegetable and un things but vegetables can't work and it is the people who that, who work who produce and look around you everything you see the screen you're looking you're looking at me and your screen that unit that apparatus bringing my image to you the apparatus bringing my voice to you that apparatus was made by a human being working with his hands 
That's the source. You've been listening to Working we'll Man Radio with Joe Lyles at JoeLylesRadio.com.